everybody, this is Perch, and uh, here's a mail. It says, uh, hey, Perch, sorry you're taking so much shit from the morons about this do creators understand or not. Half of the responses you understand are either trolls or people too stupid to understand the topic you're talking about. Uh, tell us how you really feel. Yeah, I like when I like it when letter writers start out hot. That's always uh, that's good. Anyway, understand what you're talking about. Uh, my question to you is related to this, though. When you've talked to creators, I'm curious, do they even go to YouTube? Do they watch videos? What would you say the percentage of creators who watch videos are, and how many videos do they watch? Because one of the things that struck me in the comments were several people saying that channels like yours, or Thinking Critical, or even Zach's, lay out exactly why fans are angry, but over the course of 500 videos, which ones are the creators even supposed to be listening to, or are they ex are they expected to listen to all of them? Curious. Do you know, are people even paying attention? Thanks. Um, by the way, this goes along with uh, <laughs> kind of a demand. One of the people uh, through the course of all this wrote in that it should be a job requirement for creators to uh, listen to what it was. I think I said another video, like listen to two hours of videos a day. Like, uh, I, I mean, my God, I, I mean, <laughs> that would try me out of comics. I don't, even, I don't care what the videos were like. I couldn't take it. Uh, that would be, that's a lot to ask for. I mean, that's a lot of time. Uh, but anyway, uh, how many, okay. So I, I have a general answer and I'm sure, by the way, I'll, I'll add this disclaimer. It's certainly possible that the creators were lying about what they watch and what they do. Why would they be lying? I have no idea. Maybe you could tell me. I, I Because they're trying to secretly mask their evil and nefarious schemes. I don't know. But it's certainly possible that they did not tell the truth or people don't tell the truth when they answer this question. Okay? But here's the answer I've got. Do with it what you want. Generally speaking, um, creators don't watch a lot of videos. Uh, many people I talk to say, you know, they, they you know, they, they maybe come up with a comic storian or, uh, some of the bigger channels like that. And they'll say they've seen a video or two, but typically speaking, they don't go look. Um, and they just, they, they know that there's some, maybe they know there's some negativity out there, but they really don't listen to any of them. And it's just not, not what they're interested in. Um, when I've talked to people, when I've talked to creators about, hey, um, and this has come up more than once, hey, I, I, uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I've got a channel, or yeah, I, do, I have some stuff. I do interviews. Have you seen this interview? I'll often get answers like, the only stuff I look at on you on YouTube is ASMR uh, videos or cooking tips. I do most of my stuff on TikTok. TikTok seems far more popular inside the uh, comic comic book community or comic book uh, creative zone than what YouTube is doing. And, and generally speaking, people seem to, uh, by and large, ignore YouTube. So that's that's what I hear. Um, you know, as to the truth of all that, uh, again, who knows? But I do know from time to time, um, I've sent links to creators for like interviews like, hey, you know, oh, you talked to Jim's up. Yeah, he's an interesting guy. What did he have to say? And so I'll send the link, you know, over there. And then sometimes I get responses back going, oh, man, I, there was a bunch of recommended videos. There's some crazy recommended videos in there. Uh, people bitching about Captain Marvel. And, and they seem like so, somewhat confused why they're there. Now, again, I'm, I can hear you already. I can hear you in my head. You're, you're wired in there. That's disingenuous. They know that stuff's there. Maybe, maybe they do. Maybe they, I, again, who knows? But by and large, I don't think many of these, many of the creators are listening to YouTube videos. By and large, a few of them do. I think the ones who do, you see, making comments. You've seen Sean. You've seen Kari. You've seen kind of a right. And Brett Booth has made comments. You know, you see people making comments. But by and large, uh, they don't. Now, why don't they? I, I, I mean, here's me speculating here. If it's true that they're not listening to many of the videos, and I think there's there's truth to that, um, I can come. I'll give you a few reasons. Number one, for what it's worth, the SEO on a lot of these channels suck ass. So if you don't know the videos are here and you haven't watched them before, so YouTube's not recommending them to you, kind of hard to find them. 
that just bluntly. Um, a lot of a lot of stuff gets hidden. It's not hidden for you, the person listening to this, because you've been listening to channels like this. But if you come in hot, you come in unsigned in, and and maybe you could try this. Go to a you know boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever you're into, a housewife. Go to their phone or somebody who's not listening to comic book YouTube and hasn't been polluted with your cookies and your history, and just you know go in there and kind of search comics and see what comes up. You will discover it's quite hard to find a lot of these things, including. You know, really, really big channels, channels with over 100,000 uh, subs. You know, I, I defy you, if you have no past history of listening to videos like this, you, just some guy is not getting recommended to you. Just not. So you're going to have to figure out a way to go do that. And a lot of these channels, as I said, they don't have good SEO, so you don't, they, don't, they don't even show, you know, they, they're not even showing up in search results well. So that's, that's another thing that's going on. Um. But why, why don't creators search this stuff out? Well, I mean, I think there's, first off, even though um, I still stand by everything I've said over the last several videos on how this, this di these dynamics work, um, a lot of uh, creators are, they, you know, they, they don't, they, they understand enough to know that, you know, there's several channels where people complain. And a lot of these, a lot of creators are, yeah, let's say reasonably insecure and not not all of them, but there, there is that kind of natural insecurity that does connect itself to a lot of people in the art field. And they just don't click. Uh, I mean, they, they like, if they know there's something negative there, most of them do not steer into it. A couple of them do. Ones that do, you know, I know Mags Visaggio uh, has, has sought this stuff out. I know Gail Simone has sought this stuff out. Um, I'm sure there's others. But by contrast, I can say eh, fairly certain. Uh, Stephanie, well, no, not so. Vita Ayala, for example, I do not think is is searching this stuff out. Um, Mark Wade, for a variety of of reasons, is kind of either you know doesn't search out or has stopped searching it out. I, I think that there's you know I, I think that several of them they just they just don't steer into it. Again, I'm not a therapist. I could kind of speculate on this, but I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that, you know, you're you're maybe already have some insecurity about your position, what you do. You're not going to steer into it by going to YouTube where all your friends tell you is filled with a bunch of hate nonsense and, you know, angry, angry, angry dude shouting. And so they just they don't go there. And I'll give you one more reason that is is um, I can't explain. And again, you can all tell me, I, I, that's not true in the first place. Yeah, maybe. But there is an element. And any comic creator, by the way, would if they're, if they're being honest with you, they'll tell you it's true. I can uh, grab Joe at some point, And I, for that matter, he said it before, uh, both on this channel and on live streams he's been on. He said this before, too. A lot of people have. There is a guilt by association factor that doesn't make a lot of sense. And perhaps the weirdest aspect of this came out when um, when I learned that creators at times were afraid of writing really vicious, evil villains uh, because they were afraid that if they wrote them too well, people would claim, it's like, you write that Nazi a little too well. You must be a Nazi. That, believe it or not, this is a mentality that exists there. And I know, I know for a fact at least two bigger name writers have, have often, they, they listen to this show. They are scared, straight up scared to tell people they listen to this show. What's always weird is I got this quote once about, um, Hey, I, I, you know, your show is, your channel is not bad, but you know, it, you know, I think some people might think it's, you know, adjacent to some stuff that is bad. And I just, I don't, I don't, I keep it quiet that I listen to your show because I don't want anybody thinking, you know, that I'm, you know, if I, if, if they think I'm a regular listener, then it just causes me a bunch of trouble. So I think there are plenty of creators who both listen secretly and then just don't want to admit it. And I think there's others that, you know, or just like, I'm afraid to go listen to this stuff because somebody will think I'm a baddie if I do. Now, please, don't, I, I agree. I agree that makes no fucking sense, but, but here we are. Uh, by and large, just uh, people don't listen to a lot of, I, I, I think the creators, by the way, don't listen to a lot. 
I do think their interests are tied up. I think the ASMR thing is uh, way more strong than, than you think. Um, I know that there's interest in other pieces. I know a number of comic creators that are super big fans of Uncle Roger, and I can't fault them for that because that, that channel's hilarious. Um, I, I think, you know, I, that's just where they are. Um, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't know why I'm reminded of this, uh, but I'll throw this out as a good way to c conclude this video and wrap it all up. Um, I, I, uh, I, I, it's, it is, this may be in the world of hypocrisy, but it, it definitely fits in the world of self-awareness. So I complain about people, and this has been a complaint I've had for, for decades, and it shifts. It's whenever there's something popular on TV or in movies, uh, writers in comics will sometimes adapt things from that popular show into the comic, even when it makes no sense. Uh, Kieran Gillen was clearly a fan of Game of Thrones because for a period of time, he would like he, he would talk, I've guard the wall. It is my I mean, it just he, there would be these statements that get thrown in that are clearly Game of Thrones ish. And it, it just it always sounded so corny and so hacky to me. And I've complained about it. And um, I had some people, some uh, fans on Twitter. This, for whatever reason, this tweet came back up again. Um, so, and I just went off on this fan, uh, this this collector, uh, because the uh, the I was saying, you know, the Game of Thrones shit really has to stop. Like for, for the love of God, you know, we we've got to we got to get past this stuff. Um, it it's it's hacky, and uh, this this collector comes in and is like, yeah, I agree. Yeah, it is. So lack of imagination, bunch of pussies, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then um, same day, same person, same poster is like, you never bend the knee to those pros. And I'm like, God, God damn it. <laughs> Where do you think bend the knee came from? Where do you think that was popularized from? Yes, I know people said it before Game of Thrones, but good Lord, they said it over and over and over and over in Game of Thrones. And the usage spiked up so much. <laughs> it just, now I can't, whenever somebody says it, and a bunch of people are saying it lately, it's like, the graders want us to bend the knee. No, 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 they don't. Get out of your Game of Thrones cosplay, you weirdo. Just stop, stop with, stop with bend the knee. The phrase has been spoiled. Forget it. <laughs> bend the knee, Mumbles. Thanks for listening.